Well, good morning everyone and welcome to the beautiful vintage golf resort in the Hunter Valley of New South Wales. We're down here this morning uh, for today's vlog and we're going to take on this Greg Norman design here on the first hole. So let's get amongst it and see how we go. All right, first hole. It's about 300 odd metres down the hill. A couple of gum trees on the left, so uh, just a little drive for me. Anywhere in the fairway. I'd be happy with. Little fade, should be good. Yep. Just a flag. And that should be pin high. All right, here we are, pin high. Greens have been cut and rolled this morning. I've seen one of the green keepers over on the uh, fourth or fifth rolling still, so these should be quite pure. They look great. And wouldn't it be lovely to start with a bird? Oh, it's gonna miss low. And that was a very quick putt. Tap this one in, and that's a par. All right, hole number two. We've got a big dog leg around to the right, and if you're a big hitter, you can cut the corner, but that's not for me. I just want to get it up there and have maybe a nine iron or an eight iron onto the green. That'll be perfect, a little fade. Yep. Oh, I've blocked that a bit. Heading towards the bunker. It's either just short of that right hand bunker or just gone in. And after the first hole, the greens seem absolutely pure and pretty quick. That's going to be well low and short. Bit of work here on the second to save par. Pretty straight part, I reckon. Oh, it broke to the right. That's a bad bogey. All right, we've got a long dog leg right up and over the hill and then up to a green par four. And for some reason, whenever I play this hole, it just doesn't suit my eye off the tee. But we'll see what we can do today. I didn't quite hit it. Not quite sure with that, I think it went over the top of the right bunker. We'll see when we get up there. That nice, it's right at it, it's got to get up. Just bounced short and I think it's just crept on or it's just on the fringe. So that's not bad because the pin looks like it's at the front. Okay, we've just come up short, about two foot off the green and we've got a nice uphill putt for birds. So uh, try and get this close or if not in. Break. 
Oh, took a bobble. But uh, it was always missing right. Tap this in for power. It's a good power on this hole. Happy with that one. Hole number four. It's a good hole this, I like this. Um, over the dam, up a bit of a hill and around to the left and you've, uh, if you go too far left off the tee you can get blocked out by the trees so you want to be up the right and uh, see if we can get it up there somewhere. Bit of a fade up the right, no trouble. That'll be fine on top of the hill. Struck that pure. It's just right of the bag. Oh, it's short. Wow. Thought I'd get that there. Interesting. Well, I didn't think this would end up short. But just got to flip this up, it's sitting pretty good. Flip this up on the green. Sit there, sit. Uh, two or three metre putt. This would be a handy par. Oh, snuck it in the side door. All right, how good's this? The beautiful fifth, par three, 147 meters. Got the six iron out again. that well but it could be the right hand bunker if it's long enough nope short but on the green be a long birdie putt so we'll just try and trundle it up there somewhere I'm gonna give this a good two meters or so outside the right hand edge of the hole here because I think that's how much it's gonna break pull up now Pull up. You could see how much that broke. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And then we go for par. On to hole number six. Long hole. Dog leg left to right. So anywhere up on the fairway is good for me. Yep, it's up the middle with a little fade. Alright, nice drive here. We've still got 194. So I'm going to hit my hybrid because it all runs down and just try and run it down the hill. Just right of the flag. Should be down there somewhere. Well, I'll tell you what, I didn't see this happening. I'm pretty sure last time I played here, this was still all fairway, but it looks like they've uh, made a bit of a collar of rough here to stop, uh, stop people doing what I was trying to do, which was uh, run it down and up onto that green. So, got a decent sized pitch here now. That's all right. Pins up the back. I 
Oh, it's come out out of that wet stuff and shot right. Hmm, not my best. Pretty long one left for par. Bit of right to left maybe. Break. Oh, that's quick. That's gone a meter or so half past, meter and a bit. So this should be pretty straight after seeing uh, seeing my putt not break then. Well, what a bogey. Hole number seven, par five. And this hole is one of my favorites in the Hunter Valley. And it's probably most people's when they come here too. So uh, we'll hit this drive up over the hill and I'll show you why. That'll be fine, straight at those trees. Right, here we go. Driving up the hill. And uh, much like uh, the par 5 fifth at New South Wales, once you get over the top of the hill, it's a beautiful vista with uh, the green and the bunkers down there. You've got the uh, beautiful winery over on the left and the uh, mountains in the distance. Just spectacular. Absolutely love it. All right, we're just up on top of the hill. And uh, yeah, still got 300, so just gonna hit a three wood down there somewhere. And hopefully that leaves us a nice shot in. Yeah, just at the left edge of the bunker. That should be fine. All right, 94 metres. Pins on the front right. Right next to the bunkers, so don't want to miss it right. Just a little gap wedge. See if we can get it in close. Yep, just on the front edge. So we've got to look at birdie. Maybe hit it just on the left edge. Oh, it broke a bit more than I thought. Easy par though. Alright, hole number eight. Par three, 160 metres today. They call this the signature hole. And that flag is, uh, well, it's kind of middle of the green, but it looks tucked right over the water, so I want nothing to do with it. So I'm going to try and miss this on the left. Out the left edge of the green and just stay in there. Oh, well short. Get up there. Not my best. Oh, I'll smash that. Good bogey in the end after a bad tee shot. Hole number nine. Strong par for this. Uphill all the way. Long. Big bunkers up the right and a gum tree in the left.
So somewhere in between the bunkers and the gum tree would be lovely. That's pretty good. Dead center. Still have a long way up the hill but from there, but uh, no trouble. Hopefully it's short of the bunker. We'll go and see, because I didn't see that land, but hopefully we're all right. Yeah, this is fine here. It's, um, I'd say it's come off this bank over here and just run down here. So we'll pitch this up and see what we can do. Should be pretty good. Hopefully it's sat, might be a bit long. All right, definitely happy with that pitch. A couple of feet down the hill. So I don't want to smash it, but uh, I think it's pretty straight. I'll take that. It's a good path for me up that long path four. All right, welcome to the start of the back nine. Tenth hole, par five. Good par five too. Plenty of room right here. So uh, bunker down the left won't be in play. I probably can't even get to that. So I don't even need to worry. Yep, sweeping drawer up the middle, and uh, when you don't have to worry about the bunker, it doesn't really matter. Although that got pretty close actually. Alright, there's water down there on the left, the green's over the top of the water, just past these two trees here. Um, fairway goes down and around the water that way, so 200 to the start of the water. I'm going to hit a three wood out to the right and uh, Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't get in the water if I hook it, but off this Y, it shouldn't hook. Yeah, that's perfect. Down the middle. And yeah, that's not getting anywhere near 200. So it might be a wedge or a 99 into the green, I reckon. All right, we've got uh, 120 here. Going to hit an 8 iron. Pins at the front. And we don't want to be short. Hit that nice, it's right of the flag. And that'll be pretty good. And wouldn't it be lovely to put this one in, perhaps? Oh, it's a bit low. Tap in par. Number 11. There's another long par 4, 390 odd. Uh, there's a creek, runs all the way up the right. Two bunkers in the middle of the fairway and plenty of room left, so bunkers won't bother me. Move this ball over a tad so I'm not standing on the tee marker. So straight at the bunkers. Yep. That's perfect. It's a little fade up there. Have a long way in still, but that's golf. It's uh, should be fine. It's too far left, but uh, 
we can pitch up to the green from there. No probs here whatsoever, um, plenty of room left. If it was straight, it would have got on the green, which would have been nice, but uh, I'll take this on a long par four for me. Just didn't want to go anywhere near that water over there and bring double bogey into the play, so I'll try and ship this one close. be oh, checked up a bit. It's not too bad though. Oh, I'll take that. Perfect. Good par. Hole number 12. 180 metres today. So it'll have to be all of this rescue I reckon. There we go. the bottom of the face a bit but she's on the green be a long putt up to that back flag but uh, on the green is good well guys I've uh, just lost my audio on my mic but I've jumped on for voiceover and a long putt up the hill gave that a good run and left a couple of feet to tidy up for par and thankfully that one went into the cup so we carry on after a nice par now we're onto this beautiful short par four as you can see the bunkers all up the right uh, there's water that goes down the left i just like to pump driver up here as far as i can and whatever i've got left will uh, do me into the green so just hit a little fade here and uh, thankfully I didn't get all of it and it's actually missed the bunkers which is a good result in the end because uh, definitely don't want to be in those. So coming into the approach from memory I think it's about 100 metres a little wedge or a little 9 iron pins up the back right and it's a pretty severe sloping green from right to left so uh, Pretty decent shot there and a good look at birdie here. And as you can see how much breaks in that putt and it just all goes away to the left. So we tidy that one up for par. And now we move on to the beautiful par five. Great hole this. Water and scrub up the right. Beautiful fairway, striped up there, great condition today. And the layup zone there, as you can see, the creek and uh, whatnot crosses crosses right across the fairway, so you, your second shot's an interesting one. So I was aiming at the bunker here and just pulled this a little, but thankfully it fades back. And uh, I can't get to that bunker, so it's just perfect in the fairway, really. Didn't get all of it, so I'm not going to take on that creek that crosses the fairway and uh, just going to lay up here and hopefully leave myself 130 into the green. Hit that nicely. Bit of a longer shot coming up here into a par 5 green, but uh, it is what it is. I could have uh, hit an extra club and got up there further and hit that one really thin and it's up there short and the audio will come back now so cheers for that go go not bad work to be done though again these greens are so pure oh snuck it in good par Welcome to hole number 15 and uh, I like this hole, it's good one. Uh, big damn water goes up the left, uh, I'll be hitting up the right. If you're a big hitter you can go over the dam and you get a great angle into the green from there. But uh, And the wind's got up now too so 
into the wind this hole so anywhere up the right for me just to the right hand side of the bunker is good yep that'll be perfect Should be good. It's there, but did it sit? That's the question. Did it sit? Well, how about this one? Pitched here, pulled up nicely to about, I don't know, a foot and a little bit. So, great chance for birdie I'm not going to count it as in because that's bad karma but that's a good bird I'll take that all day on to 16 we go long par 4 this one and uh Try and hit to draw off the right hand bunkers now and just uh, get it down there. That's no trouble. Be on the upslope there, just next to that left hand bunker. Still got 200 here, 208 or something stupid like that. So let's just hit three wood up off of an upslope so it should launch in the air and uh, not get much run. But uh, anywhere up around the front of the green's good. Yeah, right edge of the green with a little draw landed soft so zero run it's a bit wet here very wet so this could do anything but just be confident and hit through the ball I reckon oh, I got that horrible just uh, chunky and wet Oh my god, 180 today, up off this back tee, and uh, I don't think I've played this hole from this tee, I've, when I've played here I've always been there, but jeez, 180 into the wind, got the hybrid out, uh, lots of bunkers long and water short, so try and hit this nice. Uh, no problems there. She's a long hole today. All right. We had the right club. Just had to get the direction. Tricky chip now. Over the bunker. Feeling confident though. Oh, nice. Go in. Stop it. Stop it. Are you kidding me? That's unbelievable. I can't believe that's gone in. Dead set. Where'd the pitch? I pitched here, I think. There you are. Two. Birdie. Jesus, you gotta laugh sometimes, don't you? 
All right, we've made it to the final hole. We're on the 18th here at the Vintage in the beautiful Hunter Valley. And uh, good hole to finish this. It's about 390 up the hill. And dog legs from left to right. Uh, with the clubhouse behind the green, it'll be uh, quite picturesque when we get up there. Tough hole for me, but I'm going to try something here because I've been working on a shot. Um, a real low runner with the driver. Just because if I hit my normal drive and it's uphill, it's going to just hit into the upslope and stop. So I'm going to try and hit a low one that runs a bit. Maybe gets up there a bit further than it would with a normal drive. See what happens. It's not too bad if it misses the trees, and it has. Yep, it'll be an interesting uh, second shot. I probably should have aimed that a bit further left, but we'll get up there and check it out. All right, this is not really the place to be. I've got 170 to the flag. It's uphill, and I've got a, a tree here that's right in my line. So I can't smash rescue. I've got three wood. But I've got to try and keep it super low and just try and run it up there. So, yeah, I don't think I don't think I can fade this around the tree with the three wood. There's bunkers up there left too. So I think I'm just going to try and keep this low and keep it under this tree in front of me. And if I can get get it just short of the green, that'll be decent. I just clipped it. I've no idea where that went. So we'll go up and we'll have a look. Well I found it. Hit this tree branch and pretty much dropped straight down. So we got 115 now and the tree's in the way again. So obviously the play here is hit your drive up the left and you don't have to worry about these trees then. So Hmm, I think I'm just going to hit it at the flag and hope it misses the tree, which is probably not the best idea, but who cares? It's missed the tree, but is it too far left? I might have caught a piece of the green, which would be handy. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't know how this has stayed on the green, but I've got a putt through sprinklers here, so wish me luck, sprinkler, sprinkler. What can you do? Alright, got this for bogey. Don't want to finish with a double, but these things happen. We'll do our best to hole it, eh? Oh, what a bogey. What a bogey. That was crazy. That was absolutely insane. Well, there you have it. That's the beautiful vintage golf resort here in the Hunter Valley. And uh, what a beautiful course it is. Uh, I haven't been up here for about two years. And since I was last up here, the greens um, 
best I've ever seen them. Fairway is probably the best I've ever seen them. So conditioning is absolutely 100% mint. And uh, yeah, once you finish your 18, go and have a beer in the clubhouse and uh, enjoy it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, hit the little notification bell and uh, you'll get a notification whenever I'm posting something. So I'd appreciate that and uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. See you later.